Alex! Al Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble. Out there. Combine's been trying to head in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. Do you mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see dad, dad, dad. We'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in silo one access unit, right through here. Shall we? Dr. Magnuson. So, have you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? No. Now, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. Well, well, see, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was. So, do you know what the alternative fire method does on the AR-2? It kills hunters. How did you city folk kill hunters? We sure as hell didn't use guns. We would just wrestle hunters to the ground with our bare hands. I used to kill 10, 20 a day, just using my fists. Oh, so when you're out in the field, you're gonna be punching hunters? In the field? I'm not going out in the field. I'm a radio operator. <sighs> That's it. Leave. You don't need to be here, be here, be I'm not gonna continue the lesson until you leave. I'm staying right here. I am serious. Leave. Oh, shit. I'm pissed. Oh. I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. Oh, oh, oh. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> Did 
we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for sure. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for him. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna... I'm really just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. The last thing I did was submitting it for the Kleiner's certificate of approval. Never Trump behind it with the result of savvy and supply deficiencies. And then your pretty little conjugal parasite away from my nose column! Now, now, listen here, Magnuson. There's no call for hurtful comments. Grief. Eli, why didn't you tell me they'd arrive? Don't worry, Izzy. We just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> Inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, all right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear... Where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it! It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? What next? A parade of constant interruptions. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> Folks, alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman, 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 you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what, find out what the hell is going on. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! Blast doors will appeal due to the alerts. You have to go through the bottom of the launch. I'll open this hatch to let you down. I want to count you. I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. The situation's not going to investigate itself.
time now, Doc. Hey, Doc. Time for that later. Thank you. 
experiencing a breach of internal base defenses. Please bear with us while we pinpoint the location of the breach.
to seal the silo doors. Okay. Phew. Glad that's over. We couldn't get in till you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. 
incredibly true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. Fine, fine. And thanks to him, the bacon, the bacon, the bacon, the bacon, the bacon, the bacon secure. Good, good. Hello there. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. Follow. Let's go. This should make you feel better. Here, have a med kit. I don't think I can last much longer. If you would take the from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they came to the helicopter. And they didn't tell me why. Dog. Great. Something else here?
It's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But... In their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential- Did you like me to talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all, it all, it all, it all, it all, it all in the carrier well, wave. that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I, and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the Combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another Black Mesa. Dad. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just... Just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine. In a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, did you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber, whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. God... Damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon... There's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may fi finally have a chance. Um, Here you go. Is everything all right?
Never have let her go. Let her go. go. Quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their 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 rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must 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 compromised ordinary series standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished, with all hands, and even part of the... Few believed the Borealis was, 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 was ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever! Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine! Use it! That thing has to be destroyed! But think of the advantage to humanity. We can't simply waste all Hasn't that potential. Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of 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 but my, 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 but my
we have 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 white 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 in 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 He'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure. I won't take that chance. I'm going out. Dad! Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad, Dad, Dad. Gordon and I are more, more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the Combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in, in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. Okay. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another black person. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. back. Gordon, you keep an eye on him. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um. Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you're finished, if that's more convenient. It's all right, honey. Freeman? I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later, Gordon. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. Don't dare launch until all Striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting, de putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. 
Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look, now look, now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery the port. Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb, although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but, 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 but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all, with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Go ahead and take the device out of the dispenser. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. Now, take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. Too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Very well. Try it now. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? As you can see, the Magnusons are fragile. They will disintegrate immediately if they miss their target. Aim for the carapace. Carapace, Freeman. device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready or ready or ready. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole.
Dr. Freeman, over here. Get a few liberties with your car. Check it out. Added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Tweak your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case, in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there.
Clear's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. Sawmill is that way. They're expecting you. So, what now? Pardon me. We'll keep the outposts stocked with help! We'll keep this place stocked with hell! We'll keep this place stocked with hell!
Pardon me. They're waiting for you in the sawmill. That way. Closer. To Freeman. So they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to Attention. do... Attention! Oh. North perimeter breach! <laughs> Alright, people, this is it! We have a strider approaching from the crane! Oh, Defensive positions, go! Oh boy, here we go. Everyone ready? We need to stop them here.
spider at the sawmill. Looks like hunters are traveling with the Striders. They're working in packs! Now we have a Strider coming in from the wall, from the wall, from the wall, from the wall, from the water tower!
So what happens next? Strider coming in towards what used to be the sawmill.
Next portal I see, I'm jumping through it. Anywhere has got to be better than this.
Take this med kit.
Telemetry data leak. The launch is in its final stages. The portal's supposed to open to open it. But Dr. Magnuson sure will be a time to stop it. Support equipment powered down. Satellite field powered and powered and ready. Hold on a moment, Connor. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my ro my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Already closed out launch support equipment checklist. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the What's launch from there. One? Flight termination system check links with backup range safety sites? Oh, well, here we are, here we are infantry. again. There are no backup sites. If we fail, the best we can hope is that the rocket falls on the enemy. Now, inertial navigation systems. Safety test of FTS. Completed, of course. Ground and high altitude winds. Well, uh, the precision of those readings is, n is, n is not to my liking, but we'll have to make do with what we Guidance, have. Guidance, computer voltages and currents. Reporting normal. FTS switched over to internal power. Naturally, some time ago. And armed? Of course. Don't ever say of course. We can't take anything for granted. No, of course not. Oh. No, no. Avionics, 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 turn to internal power. Yes, yes.
You were out having fun. I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Moment. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's with intolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling. Back! At last. Ah, ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon.
The launch is in its final stages. The portal's close to opening, but Dr. Magnus is sure will be the time to stop it. Oh, there's another bit of cruft we can ignore. Support equipment powered down. Satellite payload powered and ready. Hold on a moment, Kleiner. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, 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 um thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Closed out launch support equipment. Check Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. This one. Flight termination system. Backup range safety sites. Oh, that must be an ancient entry. There are no. Well, sites. here we are again. We fail. The best we can hope is that the rocket falls on the enemy. Now, inertial navigation. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's with intolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling I'm back. Up. At last. Ah, oh, of course. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. The launch is in its final stages. The portal's close to open. But Dr. Magnus is sure will be the time to stop it. Oh, there's another bit of cruft we can ignore. Well, 
Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. This one. Flight termination system check links with backup range safety sites? Well, here we are again. There are backup sites. If we fail, the best we can hope is that the rocket falls on the enemy. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's with intolerance. That's certainly not worth scuttling. Ah. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnus The launch is in its final stages. The portal's close to opening. But Dr. Magnuson sure will be a time to stop it. Support equipment powered down. Satellite payload ready. Hold on a moment, Kleiner. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to...
thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Already closed out launch support equipment. Chandler. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch What's from there. This one? Flight termination system check links with backup range safety sites? Oh, that must be an ancient entry. There are no backup sites. If we fail, the best we can hope is that the rocket falls on the enemy. Now, inertial navigation systems. Safety test of FTS. Completed, of course. Ground and high altitude winds. Well, uh, the precision of those readings is not to my liking, but we'll have to make do with what we have. Guidance computer voltage is set Well, here we are again. Some time ago. And armed? Of course. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's with intolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling. We're back! Up. At last. Ah, oh, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Transmit the signal! Too right. The clock is ticking. I couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up, I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold on. Oh, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. 
I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Sure, this didn't have to fall on you. Hey, Dr. Freeman, over here. Perimeter's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. So, what now?
rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. Don't forget your car, Freeman! <laughs> As if anyone could. Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to hit in the front. Door. Alex! Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we... Glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to head in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo One Access Unit, right through here. Shall we? Don't feel anything anymore. <laughs> you want me both? What now? 
Oh no, what's that? Just another false alarm in the secondary silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. So, have you ever used an AR-2 before? Hey! Gordon! Man, you made it! Dad! Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all in there. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that look at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for sure. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for them. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. <sighs> Submitting it for the Kleiner's certificate of approval for the troubles we might have with the result of staffing and supply deficiencies. And your parasite away from my nose gone! Now listen here, Magnuson. There's no call for hurtful comments. Good grief. Eli! Why didn't you tell me they'd arrived? Don't worry, Izzy. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, all right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process. And then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes. Of course. Another alarm? Oh. What next in a parade of constant interruption? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> Folks, alarms all day. Damn crows at the nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Your mother would be fired. Fire system for the sound of the water will be armed. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Dad! Gordon! Help! Dad! No! 
coming. Dad! Get away! Listen to me. Destroy that ship. Whatever it takes. 